Welcome back team. Here is our next product review. So I have the title tank here. Now I will say I did order a different name brand. Yes, for all. I just did the review on the Bosu ball and I absolutely love their products and the quality. So this is also going to be, um, kind of looking at what's the difference between the title tank, which is much more expensive than the um, Yes For All brand. So I think, don't hold me to this. I'll put the actual, I'll put the actual number um, in comparison up here on the screen. Actually, I won't even say the numbers, but this one is obviously more expensive with the branding in comparison to the Yes For All brand. Um, so like I was saying earlier, I do like their products a lot. So we're gonna see the difference between the two um, and go through the pros um, and cons. I really don't have any pros and cons of this other than the fact that the water inside of the tank is getting murky and I need to put some type of solution inside of it that is safe. Um, I'm gonna do more research on that and see what I can do. But here's like an example of what it looks like. So Miss um, Title Tank people or Yes For All, or if anyone knows a good product to put inside of here, let me know. I was actually thinking about putting like, <laughs> this is gonna sound funny, like windshield washer fluid um, inside of these, but I don't know what it'll do to the plastic. So if you have any scientists out there and you have any um, suggestions for me, please let me know. But I don't know if you can see this or not, but there is algae is starting to grow inside of this. Um, but for as long as I've had it, I'm kind of impressed that it didn't get dirtier faster. Um, I'm going to try to put in a small amount of uh, odor band in here and see maybe if that helps get rid of some of this gross, nasty stuff floating in the water. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of hesitant on what I should use on the inside of this to not destroy it. If someone leaves a good comment um, I'll make sure to post in the description and update the description. So make sure to check down below to see um, if we have something that we can put inside of these so they don't get nasty. Um, so for this, it's very versatile. It's, um, I love the fact that you can change the weight. So you can see here, this is uh, maybe about 15-ish pounds. Um, so you can see 5, 10, 20, 30. I'm going to be filling these up for my... <laughs> for my clients and they're probably not gonna be happy. I'm gonna make these a little bit heavier because everyone's getting stronger. So this is what the original title tank looks like. Uh, I've had this thing for about a year. I mean, there's obviously some scratches and wear and tear, but I don't see any visible signs of a puncture about to happen. So I'm not as scared that this thing is gonna pop anytime soon. Um, I do have people drop these all the time on accident. I have some people that throw it and I haven't had a single problem with it. So now let's go into the uh, Yes For All. I decided to pick this one not only because it was cheaper, but because it looked exactly the same. The stock photos were exactly the same. They just took the branding off and switched the branding. So I'm wondering if this is from the same company and they're just putting a different brand name on top of it. So let's go ahead and get into this. So, scissors, please be careful when you're doing this. You don't accidentally pop these. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so here we are. Yeah, it looks just super similar to the other one. Like, like exactly, exactly the same design, um, same fabric. I'm gonna say the same size too. Um, you know what? There is a difference. I will say this grip, like here, you know what? I'm gonna zoom in on this because I don't know if this is gonna make a difference in quality or not. But when it comes down to here, loop, loop, and I'm gonna pump this up here in a second. Bum, bum, bum. We're gonna zoom in on this. Down. I don't know if you can tell the difference or not, but on here, this is a little bit looser. This is tight all the way down, sealed off real nicely. Um, 
but this looks better than this, so I don't know. So we'll see how that goes in the long run. If something happens or if it breaks, um, I will come back and do a re-review on these. But yeah, it looks very sturdy. Um, pretty much the same exact design. The only difference is, is that this is really flush and this one is not, but it's flush to the outside. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and pump this up. So the difference between these pumps are, I also have a, um, what is it? A blow up paddle board at home. So these little pins on the inside, you control, there is a actual spring inside of here that you can twist and hold, twist to release. Um, so whenever you're pumping it up, if you notice the air starts coming back out at you, that you can switch this up. So the other thing that was supposed to come along with this tank is not in here. Um, the title tank originally comes with dye to put inside to make it different colors. So the title tank came with several different colors. This did not, um, from what I can see so far, it doesn't have anything. So that's a little kind of disappointing. So yes, for all you're slacking, this was supposed to have blue dye with it and it definitely does not. Um, like I said earlier, I was thinking about getting like windshield wiper fluid or something, something colorful. Um, maybe even antifreeze, I haven't decided. Or not, not antifreeze, I'm sorry. Yeah, windshield wiper fluid in different colors. So yeah, it didn't come with dye. So here's the pump. So the blue is where the air comes out. The red is where it's sucking in. So here's the difference. And then here's the other pump too, in case you're curious in the difference between the attachments. So it does come with this piece that locks in as you're pumping it up. Now, after you pump it up, then you put the water in, okay? Um, but for me right now, I am not next to a water source where I'm at at the gym, so I'm just gonna pump this. If I don't have the pin locked on the inside, it will not deflate. Okay, well, I had it unlocked, so I have to redo that again. Oh no. So you have to twist this, press in, twist, so it undoes that spring load. Okay, so now it won't deflate. So now I gotta do it again. Oops, my bad. So that's an example of what that would look like. So this piece keeps falling off as I'm pumping it. So that's a little bit annoying, but it's okay. So I'm like holding it with my foot. Sorry for my gross feet. So once this is all the way pumped up, now that that pin is unlocked on the inside, boom, it'll keep the air in it whenever you want to hook it. So now when it comes to putting the water inside of it, you have to lock that pin in. So you're going to have it facing up whenever you fill this thing up, okay? So you're going to... Press the pin in, twist, so it stays open. Then you're gonna pour your water into it. So as you're pouring your water into it, you have these measurements on the side. So now there is a difference between this tank and this one. So this one is in kilos, so you'll have to convert it in your head. Or if you have a Sharpie, you can write on here what it is in pounds in case your clients or yourself, if you don't wanna look at it, depending on the situation, um, if you don't wanna convert that. So yeah, so you can fill it up from here. Once you've filled it up, you'll have to pump it up some more because you're going to lose a little bit of air, obviously, as you're filling this. And then once you're done, you're going to lock this into place. Boom, boom, boom. Twist it, and that is good to go. So obviously, I'm not filling this in this video because I'm at the martial arts studio, and I do not have a hose, and I do not have a shower um, handy, and the sinks here are not, they're not capable of pouring stuff. Um, so I'm going to maybe put windshield wiper fluid in here to make pretty colors since this doesn't have um 
didn't come with dye. That's really disappointing. Um, so I guess there's that product review. I like it. I think it's pretty. Um, it's the same exact design. I mean, there's really not much of a difference between the two, except this one's labeled in pounds. This one lay is labeled in kilos. I will say this one feels a little bit squishier than this one. This feels a little bit um, firmer, which is probably in the long run going to be better for my clients just because the more that this bows, the harder um, it is for them. So this one is like really squishy in comparison. I guess I could fill this up with some more air, but I feel like this plastic feels a little bit tougher in general, like when I grab it. So yeah, I do like this. This one might be better than the other one. Um, it's definitely cheaper, which is great, but depending on how these things hold up, I'll probably do another product review, but for now, I don't think we need another one. So yeah, that is what this looks like. I hope that you guys enjoyed the next product review that I'm going to go into. What do we do? So we got the Bosu balls done. We got the Reebok step done. You know what? I think I'm going to do a combination of bands. I have several different set of bands. We'll do the bands next. Um, and I'll add the dumbbells into that review video because the dumbbells are going to be super quick because dumbbells are just a simple piece of equipment anyway. So yeah, um, we'll go into sliders, booty bands, and um, the pull-up bands and the dumbbells in the next review video because I'm going to speed through that and there's no point in me doing several videos. So I look forward to hearing from y'all. I hope that you found this useful. Um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Stay tuned for our next product review. Thank you.